You can now display alternate dimension units along with the primary units for all permanent and spot dimension types. This feature allows you to display imperial and metric values in drawings side by side. For example, if you define alternate units, you can place dimensions that automatically display primary units such as feet and fractional inches and alternate units such as millimeters. If you want to use alternate dimension units for a specific dimension type such as aligned, you must modify the type properties for the aligned dimension type. Now this gives you greater insight into the dimensions of the model and compliance with common dimensioning standards. The API has been enhanced for visualization, views, work sharing, and site for a more seamless workflow. Higher visualization fidelity with Showcase, Max, Buzzsaw, and more. The Work Sharing API helps improve interaction between Revit and data management. The View API improves multi-product workflows through View Filters and the Visibility Graphics API. The Expanded Site API supports partner extensions with an ecosystem to expand Revit capabilities for building sites. API enhancements have also improved workflows with highly integrated external features through a code checking API and a dockable dialog API. Bottom line, the benefit is that with these improvements to the API environment, third party developers can better support your design workflows and integration with Revit. Now let's take a look at the new features, functionality, and enhancements specifically for MEP engineers. Revit 2014 now allows you to place air terminals directly on ducts. Model your duct system to reflect real-world installations with the ability to place air terminal devices directly on the face of a duct and have air propagated correctly in the system. This has been a long-standing request that enables you to model real-world design scenarios by easily dragging and auto-snapping to the sides and bottom of ducts. Bottom line is, you can now more accurately represent air terminal design when you need to place air terminals directly on the ducts. You can now restrict the available angles when adding or modifying pipe, duct, conduit, and cable tray with controls to model according to industry standards. Piping may now be limited to specific angles while duct, conduit, and cable tray may be limited to specific angles or incremented angles. The biggest benefit is that this will help improve design with the ability to route MEP systems more easily using standard angles for more accurate design. In Revit 2014, you can now model more efficiently by adding caps on open ends of pipe and duct more quickly and easily. Add end caps to duct and pipe routing preferences to automatically add end caps to any open segments of the system. You can choose to select individual or groups of pipe and duct content and then use the ribbon button, Cap Open Ends, to add end caps to all open ends of the selected content. You can also right click on a pipe or duct connector and select cap open end from the pop-up menu to cap the open end of the connector that has been selected. 